Hey everybody, it's me, Steve Schnee, the CD Junkie. On this episode of CD Junkie, I'm here to talk about a brand new box set by Kim Wilde called Love Blonde, The Rack Years, the R-A-K Records, Rack Records Years. This is a four CD set, just came out on Cherry Red Records. And before I show you inside, sort of the shiny there, uh, but then each side, you can see there, all the sides have this little reflection that says Kim Wilde. So let's look what's inside the box. Now, this is one of the boxes where the lid comes off there. I've already removed the contents, so don't worry. Your box is going to have CDs in it. Now, let's start with a booklet here. And it's a fine booklet. It has the story of all three albums. And then also it has picture sleeves of the singles. And then it does have lyrics for all the songs. And then it also has, uh, you know, like a discography and a bunch of other information. So that'll catch you right up to date on Kim Wilde and these three albums we're going to talk about. Now, these albums were her first three albums and they all came out on Rack Records, which is why this is called Love Blonde, The Rack Years. Let's start with the debut album, the one that Americans are more familiar with because it was released here. Uh, and that is the self-titled album from 1981. This is the album that contains Kids in America. Of course, that is a song that was later covered by a band called The Muffs, and they had a hit with it as well. And the album sort of blends uh, sort of the new wave uh, side of music at that point, which was... Uh, sort of a mixture of keyboards, guitar, bass, drums, but it also veered towards the more electronic side of things too. So this is an album that sort of tread both sides of that sound. Uh, they were definitely creating their own sound for Kim Wilde. She, she did have a unique voice and it was instantly identifiable, you know, when you heard her other songs. Now the difference with the CDs in this box set is these have been released with tons of bonus tracks, you know, two CD or two CD and DVD editions and stuff, but these are paired down. Down. And it's basically the album plus maybe a couple non-album tracks. No extended mixes, alternate mixes. This is the album's, you know, a little more than just their simple natural form. Uh, but it, it's really wonderful. It's not too much for you. If you want a lot of bonus tracks on it, there are other versions of these albums available. Uh, I own those as well. But I really welcome these because they're just nice listens and, uh, you know, with a couple bonus tracks added. And each of these CDs actually has uh, gateful sleeves. So none of the other songs here were big in America, like uh, uh, Water on Glass or Checkered Love. But still, it's a great little pop album. That was the thing about Kim Wilde's albums. The songs were written by Ricky Wilde and Marty Wilde for the most part. And they were very modern sounding at the time. Uh, and But they're also very pop. You know, they weren't trying to get too weird. Although some of their songs did sort of veer off that top 40 sound and they helped establish a style for Kim Wilde which they continued on her second album which was called Select. Now this album did not come out in the US. It came out in the UK in 1982. It was not as successful as the first album. This is more electronic, you know, less of that new wave with the guitar and bass drums, but still a great batch of songs. I think as an album, you know, there may not be a song as instantly catchy as Kids in America, but I think that this is a better album as a whole, an album listening experience. Once again, this does have bonus tracks produced by Ricky Wilde and songs written by Ricky Wilde and uh, Marty Wilde. And it's just a nice collection. Of songs. But then they get kind of weird too. There's a song here called Cambodia, which super catchy and it was a hit, but it's just kind of an odd song when you really listen to it now. And that really made it stand out because it was so different. Sure, it was synth pop uh, or, or, you know, I mean, if you want to call it new wave, whatever you want to call it, it was pop. It was top 40, but it was kind of on the odd side of uh, top 40. And that's what I loved about it. So Select was her second album, came out in 1982. The third CD in this box set is Catch As Catch Can. Came out in 1983. It's a very 80s album cover. And there is gatefold there with more pictures of Kim and again just like the previous two CDs it has a couple bonus tracks now this album continued to veer in that synth pop direction not really embracing the more edgier sound of the first album but again a, a fine collection of songs 
nothing super over the top catchy where you just go oh my god that's amazing but the song love blonde is on here and that was a big hit and a really fine collection of songs i think it's just as good as maybe the first album but just a little bit less commercial but that is the third album that's in this box set the box set does contain one more disc and that is called special disco mixes and you know you're thinking ah disco schnee why are you talking about disco I'll talk about disco if I want, but this is really disco, disco. These are more contemporary remixes of songs off of those three albums, and it's fascinating. You know, I, I, I do like when people go in and they sort of turn a song on its head or they just extend it. They accentuate certain parts of the song that maybe you missed, like maybe there's a synth bass line in one song that's so buried in the mix that you don't hear it until you hear the remix. And that's really why I like, you know, I don't dance. So that's why I like to listen to uh, mixes because I start discovering maybe bits and pieces of songs that I didn't hear in the original mix. And that is what you're going to find in the Kim Wilde Love Blonde, the Rack Years box set. Really wonderful box of pop. If you love pop, this is just for you. It just brings me back to a wonderful time in a lot of our lives. There's innocence, there's charm, uh, and th there's melodies and there's hooks. And you can hear it in this box set. As a matter of fact, to entice you to go check out this box set, I decided to put together a medley featuring snippets of three songs from each of the studio albums and I might throw just a little tiny bit of a remix at the end of this medley in hopes that you enjoy it. So please sit back, relax, give this a listen, and I will see you on the other side.
Well, that's it. I hope this inspires you to check out Kim Wilde, Love Blonde, the Rack Years box set, available on Cherry Red, and that's a four-CD box set, and it contains the first three albums and a special disco mixes bonus disc. It's a whole lot of fun. Relive the 80s, or maybe all you've ever heard is Kids in America, and you want to hear more. This is the perfect place to check it out. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, to ring that bell for future notifications. And until the next time, remember me. I'm Steve Schnee, the CD Junkie.